Good evening guys, David12597 here. I'm going to show you guys the crypto case, 6 GPU crypto mining case. I'll put a link in the description. Um, anyway, this has to be, and I read the review, someone said it, the most complicated thing to put together ever. I mean, I got all these things, three long bars, four of these, two of these, two little short guys, a bunch of elbows, uh, and you see all these different screws. It is just insane. Like, and I look at the instructions, and just going over the packing list, these are the bars. They all look the same. It doesn't tell you how many you're supposed to have, or what D1 represents. I mean, it does give you a measurement, I guess. Um, 160 millimeters is the smallest one, which I guess it's that one. And the 498 is D4. Let's see. So the first instruction says D2 and D3. So if that's the case, D2 is the 320 and D3, which is the longer one, I'm sorry, D2 and D3, so 352 and 320. So that would have to be these two right here. So this one would be up because it's bigger, and then this one would be sideways. But that doesn't make sense. I guess it does because my motherboard is supposed to fit between these two, which it is big enough. I guess it won't matter because it's all going to be on this acrylic right here, which is really nice. I haven't taken the tape off it yet, but um, you can see they ripped off a piece right here to put their logo. And um, it looks really good. It's really really nice and firm um after i put this together you know it's gonna it's gonna be a really nice case um it's just so far opening it and um thinking that you know the guy who put the review on there it wasn't gonna be too big of a deal because I've, I've um i'm a master uh put together person you know i uh, i shop at that um put stuff together from lowe's from uh, Ikea, um, anyway, <laughs> this is just insane, the amount of pieces, why couldn't they just use the same screw for all of it, I mean, I guess, it does, whatever, but, instructions, looks like we're just going to be using the pictures, because, uh, I don't know, anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys, uh, this is how, it looks out of the box all these pieces um, they at least give you nice little numbers on it so you can identify on here like one two all the way up to well they skip a number so they go up to seven eight and then they skip nine maybe it's no they didn't skip it not listed anywhere else so, as you see on here, 1 through 8, and then it jumps to 13. So, I have 1 through 8 right here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, maybe somewhere else. Maybe. Here it is. There you go. 9, 10, 11, 12. And this is for the stacking cases oh so if i want to stack it i would use these other tools and they kind of show pictures how you could stack them that's pretty cool um yeah anyway this is going to be the beginning i'm going to check in with you guys after i've made some progress so thank you guys for uh tuning in um also some of my stuff that came in from new egg Man, I was, felt like a kid again getting all this like it was early Christmas. Um, 
anyway thank you guys for watching again and uh be right back and back that was quick for you right anyway so we're moving along uh it's actually looking pretty decent now so i got these uh risers from my motherboard uh the acrylics on uh, these were a pain in the butt. I don't know why. One side was a pain in the butt. The other one was easy. Um, I had to put my motherboard on here to align it to figure out where the holes were. Um, so the next step is uh, to put my start putting my stuff in, uh, which is my hard drive. And then um, power supply and these side things, uh, motherboard. Uh, so now, and I, you know, it's takes a little common sense I'm sure if you're watching this you'll probably know um, I gotta assemble my motherboard when I say assemble I mean I just gotta snap this bad boy in here put the fan on I hope there should be room for the fan um, and I don't know how this scan disc is gonna go in here I go I hope these screws should should just screw in somehow over here which there are a lot of different screw combinations they gave you uh, length size, so that's good. Anyway, so gonna put my uh, motherboard together real quick, and uh, don't have a stand or anything, so I'll just give you guys a quick little uh, view of what I'm about to do, and then I'm gonna do it, and I'll show you when it's done. Be right back. All right, so got my processor out. Celeron, you know, try not to spend too much since this ain't going to really be doing too much, but mining. So no games, I don't plan on doing anything. This motherboard was probably overkill, but um, I really liked it. Anyway, so I don't really see any good instructions on if it goes like this or if it goes like this. Let me read real quick to see if it goes like this. Or like this I know that this is long way so it only fits in one way let me uh read on that real quick and I'm gonna slide it in and show you guys all right some things so I noticed um, see the little triangle pointing to the bottom left if you notice there's grooves at the top right there and right here no grooves down here if you look at this bad boy you'll notice the grooves Again, at the top where it's supposed to fit in, and there's a little triangle down there. Not only down there, but on the lid that they have. If you look right here, it's a little triangle pointing bottom left corner. So um, I just saw the instructions, and it said kind of look for those things. So here we go. All right, there she is. She didn't snap in there or anything. She just kind of just sat in there and as I was closing it this guy since that was in there when it closed it it pushed it off automatically so there you go looks beautiful now time to put on the fan pretty big fan but you know um, this more than likely is gonna be running in the garage so definitely gonna want to put this on if you notice this side has the thermal paste already on it so that's great i didn't have to buy thermal paste and just plop it on there and plug it in to its power source let's try that all right you guys an update oh it's a mess now got the motherboard in processor my ram put in this hard drive i put it standing up i probably could have put it laying down but um i didn't want these plugs to be an issue if i had it laying down maybe if i had it well, I couldn't lay it down upside down because there's no screws on the side. Anyway, I uh, got my power uh, supply in, PSU in. Um, just got it su secured by these screws right here. Um, they gave me these clear things that are very... Um, it, it grips. It's, I guess it's like almost like rubber, but it's not rubber. It's hard, hard plastic that grips really good. So it's gripping this acrylic really good. It's not going to move. Um, just finished putting this cool little sign on so I can advertise whenever I show my rig to people. Um, 
And so uh, I had to put on this other piece too right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's another acrylic piece. It's what helped you secure your power supply to the to the whole thing. Um, so everything's looking good so far. Um, I got a little a visitor. <laughs> so this little guy's keeping me busy. And I got more to do. I got um, these arms to put out so that I can put my GPUs on them. Another acrylic board for the GPUs. And then some more stuff to try to make it look pretty. Oh man, somebody's talking. And uh, these acrylic things, they got something to do with the GPUs. I gotta, I think maybe I put them whenever I don't have a GPU in use. So I just put it in there just to make it look pretty. And uh, that's it. It's a lot, a lot of pieces left though. Like this one. I mean, maybe these are for the GPUs. Maybe some of these things are for the GPUs because there's a lot of pieces left. Um, so I'm on step, just finished step seven. Put the acrylic thing on. That was fun. Now I'm on step eight. Add the little arms and then I'm gonna add the one handle out here. And then step nine, I secure the acrylic to the little arms with the bar. All right, I'm gonna check back in with you guys. Um, it's, it's starting to look better. Uh, one thing I'm kind of iffy about is all my plugs are right here, so definitely gonna have some good cord maintenance because uh, I don't want that laying on the motherboard. But anyway, there was, uh, I guess I could have put it sideways, but I wouldn't have been able to secure it to the board. Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it'll work. All right, you guys, be right back. Hey, you guys, just want to show you uh, this quick little thing. So, when you're doing these from the top, your best bet is to screw it on to this first piece and then kind of screw it on just a little, but not all the way, you know. That way, what you can do just take it like this. I know it's probably like common sense to a lot of you guys, but for me, it took me a second to figure it out. Um, then you can just put it in here like this. And then slide it in. All you gotta do is tighten it. That's it. So that's the easy way to put it in from the top because I try to do it the other way where I tried to hold the screw and figure out a way to put it in there and uh, it wasn't very fun or easy, um, but this is a lot easier. So anyway, back to putting this bad boy together and um, after reading the instructions, I figured out that this is what your GPU is gonna rest on if it's in the motherboard. So it'll fit into one of these screws and so then you got another one for the top so you kind of got to move this up and down based on how tall your gpus are going to be so that it can kind of rest in one of those screws so anyway and those are kind of close hmm. anyhow um that's it so be right back have a little more done for you all right, so just an update. Uh, I got this top tray on. I put a riser on already. It's not hooked up to the power. Um, got the hard drive, the power hooked up, the fan hooked up. Uh, my on and off switch with the LEDs. I attached the LEDs just for fun. Uh, I'm gonna maybe have this hanging or something so I can access it. Um, everything's hooked up as far as the, um, motherboard. I need to crank it up and install windows on it. Um, so now, uh, just let you know what I, what I came, decided to do was, uh, set up all this stuff.
before I got to this next part, which um, I'm guessing you're supposed to do, even though there's no cords. Wouldn't that be nice if there's no cords? Anyway, so I'm going to attach these bad boys and then the one more long one so I can get uh, some fans on there if I want. So more than likely that's what I'll do. So just an update. Thank you guys for, for watching so far. Um, not as hard as I thought it would be because of so many pieces. Uh, a lot of these are just extra. Because um, either that or I, I just wasn't doing it right. But I was following the directions. Like this 08 right here. Haven't even used them. Maybe I'm messing up something. These things. No idea. Zero one. Haven't used them. Um, uh oh, better get that dropped in on the floor before the baby eats it. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Thank you guys for watching. I'll give you guys another update. All right, you guys, this is it. Final resting place for now. Um, it's all put together. It's up and running. Nice shiny lights. Uh, it's really cool. I have my stuff hooked up in here. Uh, Got a Vega 64. I'm sure it's really loud. But uh, so far the case is great. It's light. Uh, I put it on the end cap of a glass uh, desk. And uh, it's nice and cool up here in a closet. And it's only one cord so I don't have much to worry about. But when I start getting more cards and the heat starts cranking up. Then I'm probably going to run into some issues and move it somewhere else which is gonna create its own problem into itself um, so that's it uh, Vegas cranking out uh, 1800 hash uh, crypto night uh, it's not the best but I'm still tweaking it um, but anyway so just about the case case is great uh, I do need to do some cord uh, maintenance on it and throw a fan back there on the back uh, rack so that's a quick update, and uh, it's great, really great case. Definitely could recommend it. I'll uh, leave a link again in the description. So if you guys have any questions, let me know.